The whole crop is ruined. Short. What made it short? Being poor, being hungry. I said to my father, what about a change? What about dairy farming? What with, he said. Maybe we could sell you so that we could buy a cow. I knew he, he didn't mean it. But I also knew that if we were going to survive, we had to do something. And what really mattered was what Joe said to me before he went. He said, it was down to me to look after everyone. He made you responsible. Uh, he, he sent us a postcard. Would you like to see it? Stay away from my hands, they shake because I'm old. That's all it is. never comes. Just issues a certificate, that's all. Are you dying? What if they bury me and I'm still alive? One part water to three parts beer. There's a war on.
See you at chapel, mother. How's Joe? Off the face a little, perhaps. Oh, no. There's too much looking at the ground and closing one's eyes in our worship. An open face turned up as a true Sunday face. Uh Is your husband here? No. I thought I might walk with him to chapel. He's some. He's. Would you like one of these? Please. Sorry. You go on. I know what the sermon is. I've heard it a dozen times this week. I'll wait for him. Baby?
last baby. Hi, Jimmy. Where's baby? Look, Jesus Christ with a machine gun mowing down German farmers and factory workers. God is on our side. And look, St. Peter thrusting a bayonet into the belly of a German coal miner. Does he care if his victim is saved or not? Why should he? God is on our side. Where have you been? The lamb. What do you want? What do you think the answer to that is? Don't be afraid. No. I'm here now, John. Get away, get away from me. Give me a hand. Come on to me. Don't you touch me. I won't take no for an answer. What is a preacher in his pulpit in Berlin saying? In Hamburg? In Frankfurt? In Frankfurt? In Munich? And up and down the Rhine? What is he telling his congregation? Gott mit uns! God is on our side. It's in your hands to put yourself in God's hands. Make the journey from Pew to Penitent Bench, from lost to found. singing words go up and they are heard what is it you embarrassed to be seen with me you don't know me I know that despair is easier than hope 
and that self-pity feeds despair. Breathe in. Below despair, smell it. Sorry. Smell me. Step back, Middleton. Grace, have you met George Allingham? Uh, George Allingham? Grace Middleton. What were you doing in the house this morning? You must be mistaken. John Middleton was in chapel this morning, but he'd been here first. Eh? Lloyd George said it better than I can. We're fighting Germany, Austria, and drink. You are destroying a man's life. <laughs> this is choice. He drinks, he doesn't feed his family, they suffer. It's not Bert Middleton's choice, is it? He won't see you. So you were open. The defence of the realm act states that opening hours are strictly limited oh, to it's 12. Oh, Jora! <laughs> we love Jora, don't we, Bob? There's just nothing we wouldn't do for Jora. Six to nine, Jora, we love you. Get on in and get on die, Jora, we love you. We'll drink and drink it half the time, an open throat is not a crime. Cause Jora, we love you. Why are you so interested in helping a man like uh, John Middleton? We were wondering why you would do that. Now, is he doing the devil's work now? We'll pray for you, won't we, boss? We will. We'll pray for you. Our Father, which is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. come. I'm praying in the pub. <laughs> Why were you at chapel? Have you converted to Methodism? I was impressed with what your father had to say. Did you have advance notice of his sermon? Uh, no. <laughs> then your answer to my question makes no sense. I came to chapel to see you. Morning. Morning. Please be honest with me. My case hopeless. My nice identity. He doesn't know my feelings. See. I'm sorry. Is it John Middleton? Sorry, I eat you. Give me your shirt. I said I'm sorry. <laughs> George Allingham, Grace Middleton. What were you doing at the house this morning? Nothing.
would you? Oh, it's Carol. Carol? Carol? You'll catch your death. Let me take that from you. Carol? Take this blanket. made saw a mouse. <laughs> Anyone would think the world was ending. And what is it you thought you saw, Polly? She was in a nightdress. You do not speak about this to anyone, do you understand? Don't you want to know who's coming out the woods behind her? Mrs H? And the family should know, shouldn't they? Spot of advice. Don't be caught with your trousers down. Um, no. Sorry, what? Kitchener. Kitchener's promised the French will have 75 new brigades in the field by June. And that's 35,000 men a week. The number of men volunteering is falling. There we go. Conscription. Around the corner. 35,000 new pairs of boots a week. The Department of War is looking for factories that can cope with the huge increase in demand. But if what you're saying is right, I'm going to be losing my workers to the army. Well, do women go to war? Hello, George. What's the matter? Hmm? Polly looks like she's seen a ghost. No, not a ghost, a mouse. And who's the doctor for? Doctor. She's fine. That is to say, she's not unwell. Your daughter is five months pregnant. Look, we must all work very hard at making sure that nothing else happens. There is too much happening. A sacrifice, duty, loyalty, the other cheek, the blind eye. What are you talking about? What do these have in common? They're passive, mother. They're passive. I don't understand. They want things from us. They want to take from us. I mean, I don't blame them. And I'll even admit that their cause is sometimes just. But when they come into our lives and behave like animals, I will not, for the sake of our name or anything else... Oh, don't speech-make at me, Edmund. You're not in the House of Commons now. I'm your mother! I've seen you mule and puke and defecate. Words are the least honest thing that come out of you. What have you done? I've sent for a man. A man? He's coming from Chesterfield. What man? What man? A detective, the best. He pulled a bat by the arm. You saw that? Yes. Did you see him go into the woods? No. All right. Do you hear what was said? She was calling out. Well, what did she say? Come on. You won't say it because you can't, because she didn't call out, did she, Polly? Did she, Polly? Carry 
you can tell me. Middleton. Why was he here this morning? Hmm? Did, did you tell him about? When it happened, uh, did he did he force himself on you, Carol? I know that this must be really difficult. It's not him. When I Middleton. Joe. Don't tell. I promise. Carol. Oh, just help me, George. Yes? Uh, just a small laugh. <clears throat> it's a tiny bit under. Do you want the mate weight? Yes, please. Men who can't write. <laughs> it's not. What is it then? It's special. How? He can't write. He can't write. He can't write. <laughs> Give me the card. Hmm? Who do you think you are? My name is Bert Middleton. <laughs> are you trying to be funny, are we? No. You must think I'm a complete fool. Yes. So damn it! Ah! You won't bloody well know what this it is! Monday, sir. What? Today is bloody well Monday, sir. I can pour my own tea. I talk to you? What 
Or leg, is it from... Yes. The timing of the pregnancy... What was your response when you saw your sister running out of the wood? What? Well, concern, I suppose. You suppose? All right, concern, yes. Why? Didn't look right. In what way? She was running. Is that all? And what did you think had happened? I don't know. What did you fear had happened? I don't know. Did you run? I think so, yes. And you know what it is you were afraid of? Just because he was in the ground at the same time as my sister on one occasion doesn't mean he has anything to do with... Uh, with... her becoming pregnant. So you think he was molesting her? Now you think it wasn't the first time? Putting words into my mouth. I can assure you everything you've said is your own. Did you see him lay hands on her? No. Are you sure? Yes. Have you spoken to John Middleton? It is my practice to build up a picture of a character of a man before I speak with him. Character's everything. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Rollingham? Mm. He meant to pull her back. It was more than just stopping her. That's not what George Allingham says. That doesn't worry you. He's been speaking to me about it. Alone? Yes. Saying what? He made it clear he doesn't like my account. Don't think I'm on your side just because my father and your father were both working men. I don't really believe in them and us anymore. The rats in the trenches eat any kind of dead meat. They're not particular. You give us a sixpence, if Ingham cleans you, we'll pay up. How much? It depends. Or well, what? How many strokes? How big the bruises? But a lot. We'll pay you handsome. I'll do it. Sixpence. <laughs> How much? Six pence. Six pence. Yep. You're always getting caned. We've been paying out the whole time. The answer is no. We'll have your farm by the end of spring. You watch. We can't take money off him. Why not? We need all the money we can get. Just one penny. Thanks, Tommy. How much is a pig? No, how much is a cow? Do you know the Middleton family? A little. Who? Joe? Yes. Why? I don't understand your question. Yes, you do. He was our waterman. Didn't you know that? Anything else I don't know, Mr. Rollingham. Are you the policeman? Yes. Are you on duty? Yes. Against the law. I could report you for that. Well, that's not why you're here. You've come to tell me that John Middleton was in here on Sunday morning before chapel. A little less zeal helps me with my work. Might help you with yours.
It's going well. I want you to give a man a job. I can't do that. Why not? He's employing women. Any suggestions? Grace Middleton. Any others? Martha Lane. Found your work for Arnold Hankin at the boot factory. I'm not sure. Why not? John wouldn't like it. Too busy doing what he does like. What's that, Polly? You were like a devil going after her. Half undressed he were and drunk. She's pregnant. Hello, Bert. They come out when it's raining. Snows. It saves on feed. I've come to see your father. I thought you should know. Sit down. Sit down. Please. Yes, I do. Grace was pregnant with Joe. And her sister was here. Often. to notice you were, um, <laughs> you were looking at me. At first I thought it was just concern. It had been a bad winter, the farm was... Anyway. What's her name? Catherine. Grace had gone to bed. And she came up behind me. And she stood very close. And she said, is there anything more I can do for you? Anything at all. And her breath was on my neck. I said there was. Where is she now? It was only once. I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. Where is she? She kept coming back. She kept... With Grace, that Joe... So she was here to help, but she kept on. I said no after that first time. I said no every time. But she wouldn't stop. And then one night, put your hand here, she said. Feel, she said, and she took my hand. She put it on her belly. I told her she was never to come back. I said, don't ever come back here, not ever. She smiled. And she left. I don't understand. 
understand. Why had she smiled? They found a body in the reeds of Balajipan. She drowned herself. The baby inside. Did you? No. Have you? No, no. I have forgiven you once. I cannot... I haven't. I haven't. I couldn't. I swear. He says he did. Do you have a Bible? Faithful to your wife. I have forgiven him. She committed suicide? Yes. How do you know? Were you there? Where were you? Here. Can anyone verify that?
See you to Peggy. She made me promise. Dad? Yes? Yes. You will not see her. I forbid it! I will see who I want to see. Did John Middleton force himself on you? Only the truth. I can see myself out.
Hey! <laughs> 